everyone, welcome back. I'm Sarah with Fisher Price Ranch. First off, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. So I thought I'd do things kind of a little different uh, than what you're used to seeing on my channel. It is still off-grid living, so there is that. Um, it's actually going to be uh, about my hair and um, uh, basically a quick story of what happened to my hair, uh, how I'm now working with it, and then I'm actually going to do a cut um, so that way I have a little bit more style. I want my long hair back. Um, so basically what happened is my hair used to be really long and cur and it's curly, of course, still is. Let me go ahead and show you a picture of what it used to look like. All right, so that's what my hair used to look like and I absolutely miss it. Um, basically what happened was I, um, years ago, um, I haven't, I haven't put anything in my hair as far as dye or anything like that. I haven't done that in like seven, eight years. Um, so it's been all natural. And then um, I switched birth control and I got the implant and half my hair fell out. So I got super, super thin hair. And um, so I just recently started doing a lot more research into it. Um, I've been off birth control completely for about three years now. And, um, but I've always had the thin hair ever since. I mean, this is literally all the hair I have. That's it. It's, you know, compared to the amount of hair you can see in the picture that I used to have, I have way less hair than what I used to have. So as of about nine weeks ago, this is how my hair looked. Uh, you can see how thin it really is. All right, so what I started doing was um, I already make all, a lot of my own herbal medicines and things like that, and so I actually created my own hair treatment um, that I do um, basically 20 minutes before I'm going to shower. I will put this on my scalp. It's not really for my hair, it's for my scalp. Um, and it basically has certain essential oils in it that will um, do specific things. So I have coconut oil, which is gonna, you know, moisturize it and things like that. Um, I have rosemary in there, which is great for uh, dry, itchy scalp, but it also promotes um, natural hair oils um, and a couple other things. And then I, and I've been just been using that for the last nine weeks. And um, if you look at my previous hair picture, I know it's hard to see it, um, but because all this is still going to be thin. My hair doesn't grow super fast to begin with, but you can actually start to see all of this growth, all this fresh stuff coming in. This is all new, and I didn't have all that before. And um, so you can see all this small stuff coming in. But then when you look at my hair, it's looking a little bit thicker. It's not so bald looking basically. If you look at my part, you can see how it's a lot thicker, um, but it's only thick for about maybe an inch, inch and a half. The rest of it is still the real thin stuff. So anyway, I miss my long hair um, and I want to grow it back out. So now that I actually have hair growth coming in, um, I want to keep the length and so I just want to put in some new layers because a lot of my old layers have basically grown out other than I cut myself some bangs but it's been a while um, so anyway but this time I, I had to refill and make my new treatment because uh, I was running really really low so this time I added in peppermint oil so it'll be good for hair growth thickness and length and then I added in lavender which will actually promote new um, or more hair follicles I should say um, so we're gonna get thicker hair um, and then it's anyway between the three four oils um, it's supposed to promote a whole bunch of healthy hair more hair thicker hair longer hair all that stuff so we'll be starting with this I'm gonna put this in and then I'm gonna go and wash my hair and um, 
Yeah, then we're going to do a cut that I've been seeing online called the wolf cut or um, the unicorn cut or um, the butterfly cut. So anyway, basically that haircut does not cut your length. It just gives you lots of layers, which is what I love in my hair because it's so curly. Um, I don't put any product in my hair. Um, I haven't done that for a long time, so I don't do any mousse gel nothing. And, um, if you guys have seen some of my pictures, my hair curls pretty well, um, except when it's windy or, or we're in the dry Arizona desert. So, um, but another thing that I don't do is I don't wash it every day. Um, I usually try and go about three days, um, because I know that shampoos and stuff are not healthy for you. Um, which I'll probably start making my own. I already make my own toothpaste and all that stuff. So, uh, add it on to the list. So anyway, let's get started. So basically with my hair treatment, I'm just going to a quick pinch and that's how much goes in the syringe. And then I basically like if you were going to put a comb through your hair to part your hair, that's how I apply it. So I'm gonna go all the way to the scalp and just slowly release it out onto my scalp. And I do right down the middle and I do right there all the way back and then just right behind my ear all the way back do the same on this side okay and that's the amount that I use and I'm dripping a little bit and then I'm just going to massage that into my scalp and you want to do this because it will also help promote um, your scalp having the massaging and kind of warms up the skin a little bit and it smells so good I'm just going to do this until I feel like it's nice and, and massaged in and then we're going to let it sit for about 20 minutes before I go wash my hair. Alright you guys, so I just got my hair washed and um, so this haircut that we are doing is by Brad Mondo and I followed quite a few tutorials on how to do this. Just follow his. <laughs> there are way too many people that aren't doing it right. So hopefully I, I remember how to do it. So basically we're just going to split um, from our apex, which is the top of our head right behind the ears. We're going to have a ponytail really high here and then one all the way forward on the forehead. So You want to get all the bumps out, make sure it's nice and smooth. Okay, and then the next one is going to be all the way up. Okay, so I just wanted to take my time and make sure I got it nice and smooth. And so we're going to start with the front. Move this one out of the way. And we're just going to make sure this is all nice and smooth. And I'm basically just going to look at my hair and decide, because I, I want to put layers in it, and uh, but I don't want to cut length. Now this haircut is not to cut length, it's to cut layers. So I'm basically going to look at where all my dead ends are and go just above that. 
So I got my scissors here. And we're supposed to use, well, it's best to use another hair tie. Or you can just chop it. I'm going to go ahead and do a hair tie. This way I have a way to measure to make sure both cuts are the same. Yeah, let's, let's go a little bit more on that. Probably go to right about there. Okay. And then we're going to cut straight across above. So now what I'll do is I will take that as my measuring tool. Get another rubber band here. Basically, I will just use that to figure out where I want my rubber band. Gonna cut across there. There we go. So now we'll go ahead and take it out. So I've got my length still, but I've got layers all the way up here. Right. It'll be interesting to see when I style my hair um, because of all the curls. So then he said just to make sure that, so I'm going to have to brush my hair, part it more down the middle, and make sure that it fades to the back section. So basically... I just want to see what it looks like so we'll do just a little bit it's hard because my hair is so curly and it curls so quick and it actually fades pretty good there's just that little bit of length on that side One actually fades pretty good. I don't think I need to fix that side. So there's that. So I don't put anything in my hair. So I'm just uh, going to get it dry and we'll see what it looks like. Don't laugh. I live in a fifth wheel and I live off grid and I use the heater vent to dry my hair. All right, you guys, it is time for the big reveal. Look at all them layers. I love it. <laughs> Heck yeah. That is awesome. I like when my hair just like goes crazy. And these are like perfect length right there. I play with my hair a lot, so I, I don't mind it a little bit frizzy um, because over the course of the day, it calms down and then they kind of, all my curls work together and calm, become little ringlets and it kind of calms down to my head a bit, but I, I wish it would stay like this. I know it would if I put product in my hair, but I don't like using anything in my hair, so... This is the final look. All right, you guys. Um, so basically, I've been cutting my hair since I was 12. I went to a salon when I was 12, and they don't know how to cut curly hair very well, um, and I just haven't really trusted anybody to cut my hair. I've only had 
uh, the occasional friend come in and do a quick trim or something, but basically I've been cutting my hair since I was 12. Um, and I always just did basic, you know, where you pull it up and then make layers that way. I do like the quick and easiness of this one. Um, it definitely, and my hair was already partially dry when I styled it, so it is a little fluffier than normal. Um, but this side is a little bit more curled while this side went a little bit crazy. I don't mind it though. Um, it's not a big deal because, you know, being on the farm and all, and with all the wind we have anyway, it's just going to probably go up. <laughs> but, um, so anyway, that's kind of what I do for my hair. And as far as the hair treatment that I'm doing, I'm seeing all these baby hairs coming in and we're getting some length in there. We're getting, you know, like I said, an inch or so of new growth. Um, so adding in the other oils I'm curious to see what that will do, um, but I cannot wait to get my long hair back. I absolutely miss it. I chopped it off because it was so thin and it just it just didn't look very good. Um, when you have when I had my long hair, I liked my layers, but I always kept them longer layers, uh, and it just looked funny with the uh, how thin my hair was. So I decided to just chop it off, and and I've been wearing a short short hair for you know like six years or something. Um, so I'm so ready to get it back and I will keep you guys updated. Probably won't do an update for like six months or so, but we can come back and see what kind of growth I'm getting. Um, see if there's any changes with the other essential oils that I'm going to be using. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope maybe this will help somebody else that maybe has some thinning hair. Um, or wants to add layers. I do like that tutorial. So, um, yeah. Awesome. So thank you guys so much. We'll see you soon.